assalamu alaikum hi uh, in this tutorial we will tell about a uh, river cross section the, how we will transfer this uh, uh, river cross section to hack cross for further processing uh, for this uh, transferring and for this processing uh, we will need a uh, two uh, other softwares one is a uh, hack juras and second is a uh, hack ras hack juras is uh, used in gis as you will see in this uh, menu last menu in which ras geometry ras mapping and other components uh, are uh, here this is a uh, hack juras uh, with core of engineer websites these are all available for free so uh, this will download from that website and hackcross is uh, other software and uh, that will also download from uh, US Army core of engineer websites so in this video uh, first we take a dem file and from dem file we will take uh, river cross section by 10 command and uh, uh, after that uh, we will use a uh, uh, hack menu for uh, river cross section river banks river direction and river flow and uh, after that uh, this data will be transferred to hack cross um, uh, from gis uh, and that will be exported uh, so now we will start from dem file so add data uh, project assert dem file now this is a, a dem file now go to our toolbox 3d analyst and from a raster to 10 and this uh, this is input raster so this is the uh, data uh, project srtm file and this is the uh, u name 10 5 okay save and this is the z tolerance if this value is uh, lesser than the uh, uh, the result will be clearly this is 10 command so by 10 command we will take a uh, river cross section and you will clearly see uh, in the dem file that this is the river cross section so 10 command is a uh, uh, use for the uh, geo uh, referencing to take river cross section now go to layer properties of 10 command and uh, add uh, face elevation with graduated color ramp select this one to more clearly show in the screen and this health side effect removed it so this is the required 10 file now go to 10 properties and remove the uh, tick mark from elevation so apply and ok now we will rush metric and uh, create stream center line ok now let's create stream center line here geometry create bank lines this is actually uh, for shape piles to create shape pile and by that shape pile we will uh, draw the cross section and river banks river center line so these all are the uh, actually is the shape piles low paths cross cut lines cross section cut lines 
Okay. Start edit. Start editing and go to um, create features and select river shape pile and uh, by line you will specify the center line of river this is roughly so only for tutorial so this is the center line of river now after that uh, save uh, editor and save and uh, stop editing now for banks so go to select banks and by lines we will draw the banks uh, of a river this is a small uh, part of river cable okay so this is this is the bank of river Now save it and uh, um, stop editing. Now uh, after this, start editing and take uh, cross cut lines, cross section lines, uh, shape pile, flow paths. So now flow paths first and this is the uh, flow path high elevated from the river banks because when flood coming so the flow path is uh, more than river banks now this is the flow path stop editing and save it <laughs> Now, new names that is central line. This is the river cable. Reach one. This is the reach one. Go to the banks and take. Uh, this is the show this sign show the river and right and left bank so this is the left bank from upstream so okay and other is a right bank from upstream side okay now go to Start editing, uh, editing and uh, take the cross cut lines by create features cross cut lines. And uh, draw the cross section lines. and so on by this cross section lens uh, the um, hectures will take the elevation of uh, different uh, uh, sections they try right bank elevation left bank elevation center and uh, uh, all points uh, on this cross section lines the elevation will take by hectares and then will be transferred to hectares for next processing so the Sarah geometry stream central line attribute topology so this create a river topology this will actually uh, take data from the uh, dem file and uh, 10 uh, shape 10 file of this then file okay 
and this is the processor to take yes elevation okay and after that this will convert it to 3D features now this is the river reach after that is a stationing at a different cross section this take the stationing and uh, back stations at the bank of rivers and now go to mm, downstream reach length okay elevation Okay. Export rust geometry. Export rust geometry. So this will export to. Uh, uh, the this data will be exported, and we will save in a folder, and then this data will be transferred to the HECRAS. So now you will see this. Uh, and this data will be saved in any folder you will you can save the data name file name and then this is the file name in which this data will be stored this is almost uh, done Wait for some time. Now, uh, yes, export it successfully, and this is done. Cl close it, and now this will also close it and go to hack class. And by hack class, uh, take uh, geometric data and file and uh, import uh, geometry data from GIS format. So next where you save it that file so take it and this is the required file so take it and uh, import it next uh, next uh, and this is going to automatically take data data and finish import data this is the required cross section in HECRAS uh, and this is the flow direction uh, reach one reach one and this is the this is the elevation uh, and uh, stationing in red lines and other mm, component of uh, that uh, go to mm, cross section and you will see the river cross section at different tree at different reduced distance